What's up, my peeps? It's your girl. Welcome back to his mirrors world. Just thought I'd come on here and let y'all see my little breakfast right quick. So today I have some. Oh no, my camera is tripping, tripping. All right, y'all see I ain't done nothing. Just gotta wash my face, brush my teeth. Didn't even do my hair, but we ain't gonna worry about that. Hey, never mind. So today I have some Ocean Spray apple juice. I also have some um, cranberry and grape. No, cranberry and orange uh, juice in my cup. Um, I have French toast for breakfast. I have lemonade right there. I have a bottle of water. I also have orange, a, a real orange that you have to peel. And so, yeah, that's my breakfast, guys. So, I just thought I'd come y'all with this quick little breakfast. French toast. I don't know. It looks like wheat. I ain't never had wheat French toast before. But we'll see what it do. Let's see. Let me cut it up, y'all. So, what y'all been up to? Like, I'm just ready, so ready to go home. This is the longest procedure told me overnight. Been in here about three or four days. Like, that overnight turned into a whole week. I already knew they were going to do that. Because they always do. It wouldn't be them if they didn't keep me for the whole week. Every time. Every time. But it's for the best, so I'm not going to trip. So let me pray over this food. Thank you, all gracious God, for this delicious, delicious breakfast. Uh, bless those that's less fortunate. Bless those that's eating with me, my peeps. And I just want to bless those that can't even get a meal right now. And trying, out there just really trying to work it out. So bless them also with something. Uh, send special prayers out all over the world. Um, in Jesus' name, amen. I pray. May this food be nutritious. Do not hurt harm or danger us. Amen. So, I'm just going to eat this French toast. I took the eggs out the equation this morning. I'm tired of eggs. They got me on a hard, healthy diet. So, I'm limited to things that I can get. So, mmm, it's good. Mmm-hmm. Mm. Might be weak, but you can't tell. Yeah. It really tastes good. And then it got eggs on here because it's French toast. I will have you call it. So I really not, I'm still getting the egg. But I was getting an omelet every morning. And I was like, I'm tired of getting the eggs. And fresh toast, I already got the egg in it. So I started getting one fresh toast. I just told him, give me two orders of the fresh toast. Take away the egg. It's good. Wheat French toast is delicious. And again, Miss Butterworth's original. That make it even better. I got me a cup of water of it too. A bottle of water and a cup. Y'all see my Ivy? When I come to the hospital, 
you like to see how I be eating around me and my neck everywhere. It's hard to get them good ones when they do get one. Gotta take real good care of it because. My veins are very small and they, <clears throat> they're hard to get as it is. And if you try to do too much with them, they go flat and they're not no more good. It's supposed to last three days. An uh, IV should last three days. If it don't last three days, then they're doing too much. So, when you get an IV for your fluids and shots or whatever they need to give you medicine they're not allowed to draw blood from it don't let them take blood from it they have to get their blood uh, out of another vein that makes your IV go bad quick when they try to do the most with it just keep it strictly for medication going in nothing coming out As she said every IV most of the time lasts three days before they even have to switch it out. Cranberry orange got it going on. <clears throat> yes, it do. I think I'm gonna add that apple in here. My favorite is cran apple. But I'll get everything else. They got a different kind when it comes to cranberry. I ordered my breakfast kind of late today. It's almost time to order lunch in about two and a half more hours. Up late. My grandson called me before school started and woke me up. Mm -hmm. Mm. You almost made me wake up late. Well, I did wake up late. Taste a lot of egg on that bite. <clears throat> Let me see what this lemonade do. They lemonade be good. I wonder what they mixing now. I know I be seeing real lemon juice in it. Because it's floating around in there. Y'all guys, my blood pressure been low. That's why they've been keeping me here. But it been it went back up the last couple of days, so maybe I can go home today. It's been going up. It went up and it stayed up. So I should be able to go home today. You get good rest in the hospital, but <clears throat> ain't nothing like being at home. Also, Mm-hmm. 
Ooh, I've been catching up. Excuse me. I've been catching up on a lot of my shows up in there. <clears throat> Y'all know I ain't got cable at home. So, on um, my shows, I, be, I like to watch National Geographic. So, I've been watching um, Life Below Zero. <clears throat> Who watched that? Life Below Zero. I love that show with Sue Atkins and all them live out there in Alaska and their temperature is always below zero. Like, for real. They, it get dark out there early in the daytime, like, when we still be having light. Sometimes they get darkness for three months, I think, over there. I forgot how it go, but I know they be getting darkness over there, and it be lasting like a whole month or two, versus us getting the day and light every day. And what else I was watching, um, is it Live Free or Die or something? Uh, another show I was watching yesterday I love I think it was Live Free or Die Trying or something Something like that Another good show I like to watch So yeah guys but anywho, just thought I'd come with y'all, share my little breakfast with you. I'm done with that, as y'all can see. Oh, just two pieces of toast. Put a little syrup on it and egg, wash, whatever, however they do it. Um, But I'm pretty full off of that, so... Y'all see, I don't eat much. My weight loss journey is still going good. I have to cut back. I can't be doing all the eating. I don't even know what I want to order for lunch today. I just don't want nothing that's going to be thick or heavy. But we'll see about that. Y'all, they've been giving me these liquid bags um, of bags of fluid because they claim that I'm dehydrated but I'm not and it been swelling me up on the ankles and legs so I told him I'm not taking it no more I don't need no more fluids now I gotta wear these socks these um stocking like socks cause they gonna swell my feet and ankles up and all the liquids they give me which they feel like that the liquids is going to hydrate me and my blood pressure will stay up. But my blood pressure is good. They give me way too many liquids. And I'm not, I don't need any more liquids. I'm swollen now. I'm trying to pee the liquid out. Got my feet and my ankles swollen. They don't give me fluid pills because they think the fluid pills is lowering my blood pressure. So... I just can't drink it anymore. Not not from the IV, no more liquids. Um, to my ankles and feet go down, they swole so much till they itch. They starting to itch from poking my skin out, stretching my skin. <laughs> and yes, and all that liquid, you guys, had me couldn't breathe. Like I'm, I literally would walk from here and across the room and I was out of air. I had to put on oxygen. And I was like, what's going on? 
What are y'all giving me? I'm not taking no more of that. I said it could be the antibiotics. What y'all giving me? Is it the flu? Is it the um? They giving me extra steroids. Like what is it? And they was like, no, the steroids should help you breathe. They was like, it's probably the extra fluids giving you. They giving you too much fluids. Like these people been working here a long time, over twenty some years, and they have seen it all, so they would know. I say, well, I'm not taking them more fluids. Those doctors are not here. They just giving me stuff. They're not here. They looking from the outside. They they don't. They come once a day, and then they want to go by what they hear for that moment. No, I, my body changes all throughout the day, and if you're not here, you just looking at that one little incident. Like no. So, yeah, but um, I'm getting better. I'm looking at this moose trample over this boy. Oh, a new marathon. Okay, they're having a marathon tonight of life below zero. It's starting at 7, 7 Central, 8, 7 Central. It's going to be a whole marathon tonight, which I probably don't see them all because the new one come on every Tuesday now. So I probably got, got caught up yesterday from what I've seen. I got caught up yesterday. Oh. I have to scratch this. It's itching so bad. My ankle. <clears throat> Maybe these stockers will help me go on and pee. Oh, yeah. Oh, now I'm watching Animals Gone Wild. And they ain't gone wild. They are wild. You just own the habitat. Y'all in Alaska, where they live in that, driving on their trails. Well, they got to walk their trails in that. And if they catch you, they're going to try to run you over. That's what that moose doing. They in his face. What's that? So anyway, yeah, guys. I would just come to y'all with a good little chit chat and a good breakfast time. So how at you, girl. How y'all been doing? What y'all been eating? What y'all been up to? Um, I don't know how good that internet is up in here. Maybe it'll let me go live. I don't know yet. We'll see. But anyway, guys, see you guys later. Please. You know, I love you over here. Y'all keep up the good work with them channels.